Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm Ishan Sharma and today we're talking about the four coding projects that you can make that will make your profile stand out. Now, I know there are a lot of you developers out there that, that, that are just uh, sitting at their home, uh, you know, consuming courses, consuming other content. But I think the end goal of uh, learning computer science and, you know, software development is to build things, right? And so today I'll be sharing the four projects that will look really good and you'll also get to learn a lot from them. And uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, now the first thing that you can build would be to make a complete end-to-end -end application, right? So for that, you will have to build an Android app as well as a web page, all right, a web application. And so uh, you can also build an iOS app depending on what you like and what you have at your hand. And this is actually a great learning opportunity, I think, because you'll get to learn a lot about how uh, actual products are made in companies, right? You will be having a single database that will be used by the web app as well as the Android app. Uh, and you will have to learn how to integrate them. You will be working with building your own APIs. Uh, you'll be using Postman. You'll be also be using Express. Uh, you'll be learning about different databases. Uh, you'll also be learning about front-end technologies. This, this uh, could be your first array into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript if you are new to web development. But obviously, uh, this will take about one to two weeks for you to make, but it will look really good, right? Now, if you're a beginner, you can actually start to implement something uh, like a Notes app, uh, which would have uh, the CRUD functionality. Now, if you're intermediate, you can build something cool. Uh, like the other day, I was uh, reading a tweet in which this guy made uh, an application that draws the top news from uh, the, the top news regarding coronavirus and it displays it on the screen uh, and it refreshes every one hour. Uh, that could be something that you might want to do. Uh, again, the possibilities are endless here, uh, but the idea is to make a full end to end product. Now, the second project that you can make would be to implement some sort of an algorithm. Again, this could be a great time for you to get into competitive programming if you haven't already started. And, uh, you know, just, just learn about different uh, searching uh, algorithms, sorting algorithms. And then you can even go deeper uh, as I implemented a backtracking algorithm that I used to solve a Sudoku board. Uh, or you can also try out uh, some other complex algorithms like uh, pathfinding algorithms. And you can uh, find the list on Google and you can uh, find yourself the algorithm that you want to implement. This is really good, right? Because you learn a lot about how uh, things work and how you can achieve efficiency. That is what companies look for right now if the developer has efficiency in its code. So that would be uh, the second uh, project that you can implement, uh, implement an algorithm. Now the third project would be to make some sort of games or implement graphical user interfaces. Now if you're into Python, you can try out Pygame. Uh, it is a library that allows you to make some great uh, games and you'll also learn a lot about Oops concept and how you can make uh, particular classes and objects for uh, the characters and for whatever you want to display on the screen. And uh, also, if you want to go into graphical interface, you can try out um, a bunch of other libraries on, uh, in Python. I'll link them over here. Now, this could be a great opportunity for you to learn Unity game development. Uh, there are a bunch of people out there that are just sitting at their home and uh, they play games, right? And so what you can do is that you can make some sort of game and you can publish it on, on iOS or Android. Now, I would actually advise you to, uh, to start off with some simpler games, which would be a building like a tic-tac-toe game or uh, you can also make snake or you can try building uh, or you can also try building something like a tetris game or the atari 800 these are some really old games and uh, you can really, it really teaches you the fundamentals of uh, making a game and what game design looks like and uh, so yeah that would be a great project just to start you can try out augmented reality from uh, vuforia that is a library that you can install uh, on Unity 3D uh, game development and you can build some great augmented reality apps and uh, you can also check out uh, virtual reality and this is just a great way for you to get into uh, augmented reality and virtual reality because these things will be huge uh, going forward into, into this new decade. Um, so yeah, I think this is what the third project that uh, you can implement. Now the fourth thing is actually my personal favorite and that would be to implement some sort of machine learning algorithms. Now if you're new to machine learning, I would definitely recommend you to go check out uh, some courses by Andrew Ng and uh, you can also check out some uh, courses like fast ai it has a great top to bottom approach and so i think that is uh, something that, that that you can learn from and you know just, just start to learn about different machine learning algorithms that you can implement it can be supervised learning unsupervised learning or reinforcement learning and then what you can do is that you can go to kaggle uh, search for your favorite data set uh, download it and, and try tinkering with it using uh, using numpy pandas and matplotlib uh, and then you can implement them uh, and make something really cool. I would actually suggest you to check out the COD19 dataset that is released on Kaggle. I'll have uh, its link over here somewhere. And you can actually learn a lot from it. Uh, again, this is something that is very latest. And if you can build a project on that uh, and you can show that on the CV, that really looks uh, good because this is something that you have really, this is really 
if this is something really practical and you just took it and implemented it rather than uh, you know building something that everyone else builds other data sets that you can use would be uh, the titanic data set and also the mnist data set uh, these are some really famous data sets that you can check out on, on kaggle uh, i'll have their links in the description below uh, go check them out uh, implement them into a machine learning model and uh, yeah now there are two machine learning libraries available in python that are really famous the first one is tensorflow it has a really top to bottom approach and uh, the code is very efficient you just write 5 to 10 uh, lines of code and it does all the work for you uh, there's also the keras api that you can use along with it and yeah that is a really good library to use another library would be the pytorch uh, which i haven't used much but uh, that is also something that you can check out uh, try reading the documentation on their website on on tensorflow and pytorch and then you'll get a pretty good idea a thing personally that i like to do would be to copy the code from the tensorflow website onto my jupyter notebook and then try running it and then learning about how things happen why they are happening the way that that they are happening and and I, and i think this is something that you can implement as well uh, so yeah these would be the four projects that you can work on uh, again these are some big projects it will take you a good amount of time uh, to make them but the results would be amazing now now i hope you enjoyed this video and learn something from it let me know uh, which project are you working on in the comment section below uh, like comment subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one bye bye